Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing prenatal or pregnancy yoga with the first trimester in mind. I will make modifications for all the trimesters, but I specifically am designing this one for the first trimester when you may feel tired, you may feel a little bit nauseous, and looking for some easy movements to help you feel some energy and help ease any nausea. I may look like I'm pregnant right now, but I'm not currently pregnant. I'm just wearing a belly for demonstration purposes. I do have three kids, but I put out pregnancy yoga and fitness videos every week. So if you like videos like these, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Make sure that you're safe and consult with your doctor before starting this or any new exercise or yoga routine. Listen to your body, only do movements that feel safe and good for you, and also make it your own practice. Feel free to rest or skip or modify any poses that you want to. You don't need any equipment except for a mat or a comfortable floor to get down on and an optional pillow for the last pose. Let's make our way up to standing, bringing your feet hip width distance apart, spreading your toes, bringing your hands to your belly. You can let the rest of your day go, take some time, connect with your baby. If it helps, you can close your eyes. We'll connect our breath with our movement. Inhale, bringing your arms up, looking up at your thumbs, exhale, arms back down, inhale, arms up, and exhale, releasing down. One more time, inhale up, and fully exhale down. Good. We'll turn to the left. We can bring our feet to the top of the mat. And you can step your right foot back into warrior one, inhaling your arms up, finding your breath again. hands back down and clasping your elbows behind your back. We'll do a little mini back bend and straightening your front leg. You can bring your stance in just a little bit and we'll fold forward into pyramid. Lots of length in your spine. strong legs, bringing your body back up. We'll turn to face the front, bringing the arms out for warrior two. Knee is pushing back towards the back of the room, opening up through your hips and groin. Take our right hand and place it on your belly again and tip back for peaceful warrior. Nice stretch through the side body. Inhale, engaging your core, coming it back up, straightening your front leg. We'll move into triangle. So you may want to pigeon toe your back foot in a little bit, reach towards the side, drop the back of your hand in front of your leg, and then reaching up with the other hand. Beautiful. Coming back up. Let's turn for warrior one on the other side. Bending your front knee. 
back foot, especially the back edge, is planted on your mat. Inhale your arms up. And five breaths here. Exhale, bringing your hands behind you, clasping your elbows, straightening your front leg for pyramid, folding forward. Moving into warrior two, widening your stance a little bit. Finding your steady breath. left hand to your belly, tipping back, peaceful warrior. Top hand is reaching towards the top corner to get a nice stretch. Engaging your core, coming back up, front leg straightens. You may want to walk your foot in just a little bit, reaching forward, moving into triangle. Shoulders are stacked on top of each other. making your way up. We'll step to the top of our mat again. Feet can be about hip width distance apart. Placing your hands on your hips. Open up for a little chest opener and then with a lengthened spine, folding all the way forward. You can relax at the bottom. If you want to have a micro bend in your knees, you can also clasp your elbows or place your hands gently on either side of your head to fully stretch out and relax through your spine. Shifting your weight a little bit forward into your toes. Releasing more. Placing your hands on your shins, lengthening up and then folding forward again. Now, let's shift our weight into one foot, cross one leg behind, and stretch down again. Placing your hands on your legs, or if you can touch the floor, just wherever feels good. Good. Shifting your weight and crossing the other foot behind.
beautiful. Let's take our feet wider apart. We're gonna move down into yogi squat. And so bending your knees, shifting your hips back and sitting back into a squat, bringing your hands together, pressing your knees out. If your heels are off the floor, that's okay. You can either roll up your mat and place them under, or you could put something like blocks or toilet paper rolls under your heels. This is great for opening up your hips, preparing for labor. Let's take a few breaths here. eyes are closed you can open your eyes we'll bring our hands to the ground and come on to our knees we're gonna move into rabbit pose and stretch out the backs of our neck so bringing your knees together we will place the tops of our hands on the ground and slide our hands back reaching for our heels you can place the top of your head on the ground and then move forward tucking your chin and taking a few breaths here. Beautiful, easing your way out of the position. Let's bring our knees wider apart, stretch out in child's pose, walking your fingertips as far forward as you can. Walking your hands back in. Let's come to hands and knees, shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. Let's do some cat and cow, rounding out your back. Inhale, arching, moving back and forth with your breath. Last one here. Let's move in to do some hip circles. However small or big feels good to you. Switching the other way. Coming back to all fours, we're going to take one leg and tuck it behind the other leg and sit back in cow pose. So shifting your weight slowly back, you can let that top foot pop off and move your feet to wherever they're comfortable, sitting up nice and tall, taking a breath here. using your core so not twisting your your body we want to protect our core we can twist to one side beautiful twisting it the other way gently unwinding coming back to center Relaxing through your hips a little bit more.
good. Let's move forward and switch sides, making your way back to all fours, tucking the other leg behind, sitting back into cow position. Taking your breath here. Good, twisting to one side. Gently twisting the other way. Beautiful. Unwinding. Sitting nice and tall. Finding where you're tense. And trying to relax. Let go. Ready? We'll slowly make our way back to all fours and then we'll come to a seated position, placing your hands behind you, fingers pointing towards your feet. Let's lift up into reverse tabletop, engaging your core, pressing into your hands and feet. Lots of length in your spine, not dropping your head behind. A few breaths here. One more inhale in. Exhale, release down. Taking your legs apart now, we'll do a wide leg forward fold. Just however far feels good. Flexing your feet, pointing your toes up, sitting up nice and tall. We can stretch to one side, moving back and forth. back up bringing your legs together we'll do a forward fold if you are farther along and it's hard to fold forward you can bring your legs wider apart to make room for your belly lifting up so you're sitting on your sit bones feet are flexed inhale up and then folding forward with lots of length you can either grab your legs or you can grab your big toes if you can reach lots of length in your spine beautiful and if it feels good and you wanted an extra stretch you can just let your upper body go. Inhale, let's find length again. And we'll come onto our backs, getting down safely on your side. Preparing for bridge, we'll spread our toes, press into our feet, 
activate our glutes and press up into bridge. We can roll our shoulders underneath our body, clasp our hands, or you can leave your hands flat on the ground if this is difficult, and breathe. Unrolling your shoulders, unclasping your hands, rolling down one vertebra at a time, moving into a figure four stretch, crossing one ankle over your leg, and you can grab your leg with your hands. Alternatively, you could move into pigeon if you love pigeon pose here. for relieving any sciatica that you have or helping prevent sciatica, which a lot of women get in pregnancy. Switching sides. Steady, even breaths. You can either grab your knees or you can grab your big toes or your feet, moving into happy baby pose, taking your knees as wide apart, rocking back and forth if that feels good. can release your feet or your toes if you're hanging onto them, bringing your feet back down. Just windshield your knees back and forth. You might feel a release in your lower back as if you stay on one side. We can move into Shavasana, so if you're in your first trimester, you can stay on your back. If you're later on in your pregnancy, you'll want to roll over onto your left side. You may want to put a pillow between your knees. Walking your feet out, walking your hands out so your shoulders are going to roll under. Feel heavy on the ground. Inhale in. Big inhale out. Again. <sighs> Scan your body to relax all the different parts of your body. You can keep your hands here, or if you want, you can bring your hands in Place your hands on your belly, connect with your baby. 
Send your baby some love. Feel free to stay here, or if you're ready to finish up with me, you can stretch your fingers and toes in opposite directions. Take some deeper breaths into your body, wiggling your fingers and toes, rolling over onto your left side, pushing your weight up and coming back to a comfortable seated position. Namaste to you and namaste to the babies. Thank you so much for joining me for that practice today. I hope that you're feeling as well as possible in your first trimester or wherever you are in your pregnancy. I'm also going to link in the description box below to some tips on how to reduce morning sickness, including um, foods to eat or acupressure points. I will also pick the pregnancy yoga card for today, which is I take time to connect with my baby and send my baby love. Thank you so much again for joining me for this video. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up to let me know that you like these types of videos. And for more weekly pregnancy yoga and fitness, subscribe and hit the notification bell and share this with another mom friend. I also have lots of free resources for pregnant moms that I will put in the description box below. For example, you can get your own download of the pregnancy yoga cards, a meal plan for pregnancy that I put together as a registered dietitian, a complete Kegel guide on how to prepare your pelvic floor for the easiest birth possible, as well as a guide on how to cope with pain during labor and reduce pain during labor. If you like this video, you'll probably like some of my other yoga and fitness videos that I have in the playlist. I'm going to link right there to the entire playlist of pregnancy yoga and fitness videos. You can save it and come back to it whenever you feel like doing another class.